Hello, booktube. This is Kelly. Thank you so much for watching Books I'm Not Reading. If you are celebrating Christmas today, let me begin by wishing you a very Merry Christmas. Uh, if you are not, I hope you still have a lovely day and get to do something fun. Um, but I wanted to start off with that. And there's also some new people uh, to the channel, so welcome to those of you who are... Uh, new subscribers and those of you who have been with me for a while. I don't think you can see it on the tree, but I do have the garland that I made last year uh, before Christmas on the tree this year, so I'll have to find another video to make before I take the tree down so you can see the garland on the tree. It's really beautiful. Uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about the year-long reading project that Jason um, and I are doing, which is reading our own library. We are going to allow ourselves to use the public library for very specific reasons. Uh, and I initially had maybe a broader scope of this and I've since narrowed it. But Jason, Jason will be using the library for um, book club books. And I will be only using the public library for Shakespeare. Otherwise, everything we read in 2020 has to come from books that we already own. So, <laughs> and we've we've done a hashtag on this. It's called a year of reading one's own, no apostrophe. Um, and uh, I was actually really surprised after we did our announcement video, how many of you were interested in participating on a small or large level. Uh, so I hope there's a couple of you out there. I'll, who shall remain nameless, uh, that uh, have gone all in, although they have been rapidly buying books before the year is over, um, so so that they have everything they need, which I, I think is, is pretty funny. Uh, several people expressed interest in maybe trying this for a few months. Some people said they would try to focus on their home library, but they couldn't say they weren't going to buy any books in the coming year. So it, it, it was a really interesting response. For me, it's really changed how I am looking at my TBR. Uh, and so, uh, and, and how that fits in with other events on BookTube that I want to participate in. So, uh, I created a few prompts. I do not pretend to be the master of prompts, but if you would like to participate um, in this on any level, I thought they might be of interest to you. So my first prompt to myself is that to find the books that I have owned the longest and read them. And so these are the books, and I'm, I'm not talking about my children's books. Um, so uh, this is Raymond Carver's Where I'm Calling From. I think this was on my very first TBR on BookTube. Still, uh, there's a bookmark in there, but <laughs> still haven't managed to tackle this one. I don't know. I don't know exactly why. The other book that I have owned for a very long time is Gloria Steinem's Outrageous Acts and Everyday Rebellions. Um, and I can tell you exactly when I got this book. It was in 1998 because I got to actually see Gloria Steinem speak. Um, and so, yes, it's so this is just a collection of essays. So with both of these books, I'm hoping that maybe over time, like maybe over two quarters um, or in between books, can spend some time with both of these things, but that's really pretty crazy. 1998, that was, that was a long time ago. <laughs> so, so there's no reason for me not to get to these books and uh, read them. Something I was already planning on doing, and then this project just solidified, was to read all of Betty Smith's books, which I only recently found out through um, Joey a Game of Authors that there's another book um, so that is the one book I am getting in 2020 and it's only because I can't buy it now it's it's being republished in I believe uh, May so I'm going to be reading Betty Smith's books and I'm going to be starting in January with The Tree Grows in Brooklyn 
In February, I'll be reading, I believe it's Joy in the Morning. I'm going to skip March because of March of the Mammoths. And then in April, I will be reading Maggie Now. And then in May, when I finally get the the new book, or the new the newly reprinted book, um, I will be reading that one. So I hope Joey and I will be able to read these together. Um, and if that's something that interests you, please let me know in the comment section down below. Another one of my kind of prompts to myself is to read everything by an author um, that we own. So not everything the author has written, but everything that we own by a particular author. Now, I'm not going to do this with Dickens, <laughs> but um, I am a big Tim O'Brien fan. I've read two of his books. We own five. And uh, Jason and Mark Nash were already planning on reading In the Lake of the Woods um, in January. So I'm kind of writing on their coattails and I'm going to be reading this in January. Um, we also own Tim O'Brien's July, July. And then uh, If I Die in a Combat Zone. So my favorite Tim O'Brien book and one of my favorite books of all time is uh, The Things They Carried. So if you haven't read that, definitely add that to your TBR. It's a fantastic book. So, so I'm going to try again, maybe one Tim O'Brien book a quarter or something like that and uh, read all the books that we own by him. There's some other uh, reading events going on in 2020. Um, I believe I saw on Hannah's books um, channel. Hannah was talking about uh, reading Toni Morrison in 2020. Again, I don't, we don't own all of Toni Morrison's books, but I thought if I can find... If I can find the schedule, uh, maybe I can tie in some of her books with that. I think that would be cool. Um, and then I did not participate in this last year, but March is, of course, March of the Mammoths. Mammoth being a book that's 800 pages long or longer. And I had already planned on reading David Copperfield with Joe Smith. So I'm super, super excited to read this with Joe. And I'm super excited to take part in March of the Mammoth. So um, we haven't figured out yet how we're going to divvy this up, break this up so that we can tackle it in the month of March. But I'm very excited. I think that'll be a lot of fun. One of the other things I'm going to try to do is make sure that over the course of the next year, I read something from all of our bookcases or in some cases, some some something at least from the top, uh, we have our poetry collection is all completely on the top of one of the bookcases. Uh, so it's very difficult for me to get to. I did try to focus a little bit on poetry at the beginning of the year last year with Brian from Bookish, which was great. I was not terribly <laughs> successful. So I do want to read, I do still want to try to do m more poetry um, in the coming year and I think this project will tie nicely with that in uh, actually reading some complete, you know, some complete books of poetry because really I was just reading one or two here and there. Um, I didn't actually read any entire volumes of poetry. <laughs> so, so that along with our nonfiction um, and then we have kind of a YA cupboard uh, I do plan on reading something from all of those. So I'm really excited uh, about the project because I think it's really going to diversify what I read over the course of the year. Uh, one other thing I am doing, and this is why Shakespeare is the exception to the rule, is that Rainy from Rainy Day Reads and I are going to be uh, reading some Shakespeare throughout the year, not just during Shakespeare, which is when I have the last two years. So I'm really looking forward to uh, sharing that with Rainy, and uh, I think those will be some fun videos. But that's why Shakespeare is the uh, exception, because we do not own all of Shakespeare's plays. I know, it's astonishing in light of everything we own. <laughs> but anyway, those are some of my ideas. If you have any ideas for prompts, I would love to hear them. 
I would love to hear how, if you are tackling this project, how you're going to do that. Um, and yeah, so again, I hope you have a beautiful day and uh, I'll be thinking of you. Remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to, your, be kind to others. Family time at the holidays can be a little bit tricky, so just extend some grace and <laughs> uh, hang in there. Uh, all right, BookTube, I um, hope to be making more videos in the coming days, so you should see me again pretty soon. Again, Merry Christmas, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.